It's December 9th, and here's the news that made the cut for the Daily Glitch. In case Alien Isolation wasn't already hard enough, Creative Assembly has added an even harder nightmare difficulty to their murderous, bloodthirsty cat and utterly inept mouse survival game. The new mode gives players numerous disadvantages, including a broken and unreliable motion tracker, reduced resources, and no health or ammo indicators. If that wasn't already enough, they beefed up the Alien's AI, giving it heightened sense, increased aggression, and allowing it to adapt to the player faster. In case you're like me and you just peed your pants a little, they also added a novice mode to balance everything out. DayZ creator Dean Hall has officially opened his new studio Rocketworks in his homeland New Zealand. Hall put out a public notice today calling on any programmers, artists, or developers interested in joining what he believes will become something like Valve in the South Pacific. Hall joined the crew at Bohemia Interactive in early 2012 to develop the standalone version of the uber-popular Arma 2 mod, and announced his plans to leave the developer earlier this year. More undead news, upcoming open-world zombie survival game Dying Light has released the intro cinematic as well as the first story trailer for the game. The intro cinematic gives a more newsy view on the backstory of the Haran outbreak, while the story trailer shows off a bit more of Techland's unique engine. Dying Light allows players to traverse a massive open-world city infested with Zed, but with total Assassin's Creed level of parkour abilities. Be on the lookout for more news about the title as we approach the late January release date. Last up for today, Xbox Marketing Director Aaron Greenberg has announced some details relating to the upcoming game Rise of the Tomb Raider, confirming that Microsoft will be publishing the title and cementing the fact that it will be an Xbox exclusive. Square Enix, owner of the Tomb Raider IP, later confirmed this and added, Microsoft has always seen huge potential in Tomb Raider, and they will get behind this game with more support across development, marketing, and retail than ever before, which we believe will be a step in continuing to build the Tomb Raider franchise as one of the biggest in gaming. This news is following the announcement of a sequel to the 2000 reboot of the franchise, and developed Crystal Dynamics entering into an exclusivity deal with Microsoft back in August. That's it for today. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And as always, you can follow us on Twitter at GlitchFeed or check out our weekly GlitchFeed podcast on iTunes.